you're able to reverse epigenetics just by your prescription medications and supplements? Absolutely. So epigenetics is basically, it's how we control our DNA. And some epigenetic changes are minute to minute, hour to hour, and some last generations, which is really interesting from a generational standpoint. There were some studies that looked at women that were pregnant during World War II, and they were clearly undernourished. And somehow that information got put onto the genetic code of their children and their children's children. And so that the grandchildren of these starving women have a propensity to be overweight and diabetic with cardiovascular disease because their genes are programmed to suck onto every possible calorie. So it's just a really sort of interesting preponderance. So what you do when you are pregnant will, may affect generations to come. In terms of your own epigenetics, uh, we know that like smoking, um, you know, cocaine, heroin, all of those horrible things leave epigenetic signatures on people. It changes the way your cell processes genetic information. On the other hand, we also know that there's some really good things that help your epigenetics. Broccoli, which holds sulforaphane or green tea. Um, there are just a lot of polyphenols as good examples that are just extremely beneficial to the health of your epigenetic signature.